Hey guys, on today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to update your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to iOS 9.2. Now this is the same steps for any of those that you have, okay? It doesn't matter which iPhone you have, an iPhone 6S Plus or an iPad Mini, same steps, okay? All you guys have to do is go into your settings. So we're going to go right into our settings. In our settings, just scroll down and you guys will see general, okay? Under general, you guys will see the second option that says software update. Once you're in software update, this is supposed to tell you iOS 9.2, okay? From there, just click right down here. Just download and install. And first of all, it's gonna download the update and then you get the option to install it. So, that means you do have some time in order to charge your phone or your iPad or iPod Touch. Before even doing this, I would recommend making a backup on your iCloud. Um, for this update, since it's not a huge update, I'm not gonna say that you definitely need a backup also on your iTunes, on your computer. Um, but if something does go wrong, okay, if your iPhone dies or something like that throughout the process, or just something goes wrong, because it does, and it does happen, you guys will have to restore your iPhone, your iPad, or iPod Touch. Now that does happen, okay? So that's what I'm saying to make that backup before doing the update, okay? Um, also, once updates come out, don't ever just install them right away and don't have automatic updates turned on, okay? That's for the same reason, because something could go wrong and you just wake up and everything's not working. It's just stuck on a black screen with an iTunes logo on it. And that just means that you have to restore your iPhone. And that takes actually a long time to do. So, um, always make a backup and always update yourself. Don't just let your phone update your apps or anything by itself do it yourself so you have full control of what's going on and what's happening when it's happening okay um also make sure to have 100 percent of your battery on your iphone ipad or iPod touch and um even if it's not 100 percent as long as it's more than 50 percent and as long as you have it plugged into some electricity and uh, just to make sure it doesn't die throughout the process you guys will be fine this is a small update it's nothing major so you don't have to worry about that um like I said, first of all, it's gonna download and then it's gonna install. So for installing process, same thing. It will need that 50% of your battery. And uh, the, the whole thing shouldn't take more than 30 minutes. However, it does depend on your internet speed, okay? Um, anyways, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.